I'm Stefan. I'm here at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex's LC-39 Observation Gantry, which is the closest the public can get to a launch that's happening at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. But we're even closer to launch pad 39A and B, the most historic launch pad on the planet. It's the only launch pad where it's carried humans to another world, that being the moon. But why is it here? Why did we choose this location? Well, it's on the east coast and we want to launch over an ocean. Why not just choose the Pacific? Why did we choose the Atlantic? Well, the Earth is spinning to the east and we want to launch our rockets to the east as well. It gives our rockets a boost. The closer you are to the equator, the faster you're spinning around the axis of Earth. Think of it, the Earth, like a merry-go-round with the North and South Pole being the center. The closer you are to the outside of that merry-go-round, the faster you're spinning. So we want to get as close to the equator as possible. That's why Russia doesn't launch in Russia. They launch in Kazakhstan, which is a, a very southern part of the former Soviet Union. Europe, they don't launch in Europe. They launch in French Guiana, which is very close to the equator. It gives your rocket a big boost. So I talked a little bit about why we've chosen these sites to launch our rockets from. Now let's talk a little bit about the history of these launch pads and your future launching from these launch pads. Directly behind me is launch pad 39A. Like I said, it's the most historic one. It had most of the Apollo missions launched from this spot, 82 shuttle missions, a majority of the program, and is now being leased by SpaceX for commercial operations and resupplying the International Space Station with food and experiments. Right behind me is Launch Pad 39B. Built during the Apollo program, it launched Apollo 10, America's first space station Skylab, and the following crews, and then launched 53 space shuttle missions. It is now getting ready for you when you ride in the Orion vehicle atop the SLS rocket so that you can be the first one on Mars. We hope you learned a little bit about why NASA chose this location at NASA's Kennedy Space Center to launch so many historic launches. Thank you for joining me at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex's LC-39 Observation Gantry. See you next time.